What's up guys, it's day five of NoFap, we're going strong, and I was thinking today, I get asked a lot what my favorite books are, and I have this awesome bookshelf right here, I'm going to give you guys a little tour, and also, you know, a little up close of the vision board, I started this about a year ago, I made a video on making a vision board, and just putting some th pictures, some quotes that inspire you, I got a picture of Arnold, I've always wanted to have good quads and just, I love that picture of Arnold, man. He's a beast. 100,000 subscribers. Guys, thanks so far for, you know, all the thumbs up, all the likes. And uh, helping me get to where we are now at 17. I actually have to scratch these out. These are from 2017. But I'm going to be starting the 52 books in 52 week challenge. And that's one book a week. You guys can join me if you'd like and then the original alpha monk logo i just sketched out so we're gonna start um up here is my fantasy section actually these two i'm a huge reader of fantasy i've ever since i read this book actually this is one of my favorite books of all time you guys have probably heard me talk about it it's the name of the wind by patrick rothfuss and I read this book and it was at a time in my life where I was feeling pretty low. I was, and I needed, I needed that inspiration. And this book is about a young guy that goes out on a journey and you can just relate to him so much and he overcomes the odds and he's, you know, quick with his wit and he deals in these certain social situations. Anyways, the name of the wind, read this book, read this book. If you're, if you're alive, read that book. I think you'll like it. This is a pretty cool book. I'm not going to go through every one of these. I just want to tell you a couple of highlights. So this book right here, I just randomly picked up from the library. And I sent um, the author a message on Facebook telling him like how much I liked it. Because it reminded me of The Name of the Wind a lot. And he responded back and he was going to like send me some stuff. He's all the way in England. But uh, really good. I think you guys, this is Age of Assassins. Um, Words of Radiance by Brandon Sanderson. It's a huge book. Words of uh, The Way of Kings is the first one. This is the second one. Got a little Buddha statue over there. Now this series is a monster. I've read The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn. I'm on this one, but you know, it can be so slow at times. And this is the final. This is like book 15. Book 14. So, moving down to the shelf here. Actually, up here to the left, I have a lot of good books. The Decision Book is a great book. Strategic Formulas, Machiavelli, The Prince, Beyond Good and Evil, Nietzsche, Marcus Aurelius, The Meditations. That's a, this is a staple book you can keep on your, you can pick that up for like five bucks at Barnes & Noble. Becoming a Barbarian by Jack Donovan. He wrote The Way of Men. This is the sequel to that. Really good. I enjoyed it. Albert Camus, can't go wrong. A little philosophy. Man's Search for Meaning is a classic. I ask, I don't ask. Uh, I, I think that this is probably a book that every single one of you should read in your lifetime. He made it in the concentration camps. That's a classic book. He came out alive and he's got a good message. Okay, and let's see. Let's see what we got. We got this little, check this out. We got this picture of me when I first started working out. So that was probably, that's like a year into it. I have good lighting there. It looks pretty damn good. That's my brother in the background. He's like, what the hell is this guy doing? And so this is me at playing the drum. This is me at 16. Not bad, eh? This is like the first, this is when I started. A couple months in, got them chest games. And there's my dad. You guys ever seen a picture of my dad? Look at that face. Stoic. Very stoic. <laughs> Alright, so I did start the Game of Thrones series, but I only read the first book, and then I picked up The Name of the Wind, and I just left that behind. Kentucky. That's a, that's a pretty cool book. Uh, let's see here. Kings of the Wild. This was super fun. Like, like you will laugh reading this book. Awesome series. This is pretty cool. This is a book 
about a guy that is so filled with pride and he's so cocky and this guy right here he has to duel in the very beginning he duels him and he gives him a cut on his face and this is like a sorcerer and the cut makes him completely filled with anxiety he loses all of his confidence and he you know he has to live he has to like finish out his life until he does a certain thing to get the spell out. Like, he will not go out of his house. He literally becomes a forever alone hermit. And that's a really cool book. He, like, has trouble approaching girls and stuff. It's it's awesome. All right, so down, down to this shelf. This is where a lot of my favorite books are. Keep in mind, I don't have all the physical books. Many good books I listen to are on Audible. So I will put my Audible list down below. We'll start from the left. Uh... <laughs> Look at it. This is a joke that my sister got me. Feminist fairy tales. I've never read that. Um, Lessons of History. History by William and Ariel Durant. How to Win Friends. Classic. This is pretty cool. Modern Gentleman. <coughs> Bullseye by... Brian Tracy, this is a great book, kick you in the ass, you know, Henry David Thoreau, where I lived and what I live for. If you're in sales, this is a phenomenal staple sales book, 12.5 Principles of Sales Greatness. Also, I actually had the chance to meet Grant Cardone up close in person, and he was coming out with this book. This is a good book. Grant, you know, Grant's a cool dude, has the energy, keeps you keeps the fire alive. If you guys were into Elliot Hulse, I'm sure you've heard of this. The Archetypes, King, Warrior, Magician, Lover. Another great book by Brian Tracy. Highly recommend this book. No excuses. Um, this one was, I put off for a long time, but is packed with a ton of wisdom. Guys that are starting their own business or just managing your life. This is phenomenal. Fire in the Belly by Sam Keen is another one of my favorites. It's kind of a, it's a different book. He goes, he, you know, he goes into what it is to be a man and uh, the things that men have to deal with. Another one on masculinity. These are essays from Mike Cernovic on his blog. Stephen Pressfield, another one of my favorite books is actually by Stephen Pressfield, but it's called The War of Art. I've talked about that a lot, Overcoming the Resistance. This was decent. I actually, this was just decent. I don't really recommend it. It looks cool, but I, I don't know. This is a book I'm going to be making a series on. This is a phenomenal book. Just read the title. For your body and mind from the afflictions of civilization. The whole series by Robert Greene, the only thing that's missing there is mastery. If I were to, you know, to recommend some Robert Greene, 48 Laws of Power is great. The Art of Seduction is a lot of fun, but Mastery was just like a really, really good book. Um, I, I would honestly start at Mastery, maybe Power. So these are some books I just have. I don't really dive too deeply into them. A few classics, as you can see, Lord of the Flies. We have Arnold's there, The Omnivore's Dilemma. What the hell do we eat? That's a good book. A little more Seth Godin and the Book of Five Rings and down here we have this started out man the bodybuilding encyclopedia I, I am slurring my words today the bodybuilding encyclopedia I read these front to back when I was first starting really good so there you have it guys that's what I have. Again, check out the description because I will post the books that I have on Audible. I usually listen to a lot more um, nonfiction. So, there we go. Thanks for watching.